ones are actually dredging here. Yeah? Got one amphib in the hole at the moment. We're gonna get another one, but it's uh, closing up for a second. And we've got a long reach and two heat drainers. Uh, 91F series. Pretty good stuff. It's quite solid, as you can see. Started yesterday, it wasn't a full day yesterday, so we'll, we'll uh, have a clear view today about production. Uh, uh, for a minute, well, we're close to the bank, so obviously it goes faster. Uh, I yeah, dug a sump hole there, right there. So, where is the bridge? Is um, that's where we can put the pump, and as you can see. I uh, cleaned that up so all rainwater or any surface water um, will collect there as it did overnight as you can see. Um, we can pump it straight out so we're safe, safe to work and we got all that lot, all that, all that, all of that and it's I don't know if you can see behind the field there's a GCB there. I'll try to zoom in if I can. Uh, he's somewhere right there in the far distance. Yep, yeah, that's still the pond. So it curves all the way back there. So that's a long project. We're gonna be here for a quite a while. Those GCV is a 20 ton X series uh, pulling out stumps. Good old 120. Don't miss a bit, miss a bit. Do what it's built for. I don't know, you can see more. I've got a different camera set up here because um, the GoPro is nice but the sound quality isn't the best. So I thought I'd try my uh, my Sony camera, which is a really good quality, but haven't got the wide angle as a GoPro has. Anyway, we'll give it a try, and in the worst case, let me know if you like it or stick with a GoPro or whatever. But I thought you can see a bit more with that; it's a bit clearer picture. Uh, so yeah, go from here. Well, we're getting somewhere. Yeah. 
make it back, otherwise it just all wants to go down into the, the valley there. Uh, so that's uh, working pretty well. Good 
be much worse and it could be much more difficult. Yeah. 